Hey everybody, so today's project is teaching you how to fix your existing concrete. So one thing's for sure is there's a lot of ugly concrete around. Um, perhaps you've got a sidewalk or a patio or a pool deck um, that's been around for a long time and the idea of tearing it out and replacing it just isn't uh, something that's too appealing. So we're going to teach you today how to use some awesome products from the Phoenix Group uh, to take an existing concrete slab and transform it into a brand new surface. Um, the techniques are simple, the tools are basic, and the products are really easy to work with. So the steps that we are going to take you through are the power washing and prep, um, followed by the application of the product. So like always, we like to recommend good surface preparation. So the Surecrete SCR is a three-in-one material that uh, cleans, etches, and lightly degreases the surface. It's an environmentally friendly product, so it's not gonna ruin your grass or your plants. Uh, this product is simply uh, cut with a two to one ratio of water to material, sprayed on the surface, scrubbed, and then power washed off. You can just use a simple sprayer like this and a scrub brush to work the product into the surface after you've slightly dampened it. Power wash that off, and then you're ready to start with the materials. So our product today is the Surecrete Sure Broom. So this is a great material. It's a cement based product that actually develops 6,100 PSI of compressive strength. So that basically means you've got a super durable, wear resistant product um, that's going to look like new concrete when we're done. This product is mixed with water, simply four and a half to six quarts, depending on your conditions, um, using just a simple mixing paddle on a drill. So we're going to show you how to use that. The base coat is going to be put on with this great tool. It's Magic Trawl. Uh, basically, with this application, you're just looking to work the surface um, smooth with your first coat. Let that dry. Scrape off any high spots and then come back with your second coat, typically about four to six hours later, which we're going to do a nice non-slip room finish on. So we're going to take you through all the steps. So stay tuned and enjoy the video. So for this project, we're going to use the Surecrete Sure Broom to tie together some old concrete and at the same time fix the surface of this newly poured concrete that actually was damaged by a rainstorm. You can see when we get close here that the surface of the concrete has completely been eroded, so we're going to fix that. And we're going to start off by using a power washer to get rid of the loose material. Now, I don't suggest these particular techniques for your power washing. Um, please use the utmost of safety and if you don't have a power washer, I would definitely suggest just using a broom and water. Be sure to tape off any expansion material between old and new concrete to prevent any of the sure broom from sticking to it. So as you can notice, there's an older piece of concrete here that we're going to put the uh, sure broom over so this all matches. It does have an old crack. It's probably been here for a long time, isn't moving around. We have crack repair materials that you can watch in other videos, but uh, for this application, we're just gonna take some of the Sure Broom that we've mixed up a little bit thicker and just kind of lightly dampen the surface. And you can see here, I've got some material that's mixed up pretty thick. And we're just gonna work that into the, the crack. You wanna scrape all the extra material off so that doesn't show up with our finish. So now we're ready to mix the base coat of our sure brew material. So we're always going to start off by adding water to our mixing bucket first and then add the sure broom dry component. For a 50 pound bag you're going to add between four and a half and six quarts of water for a 25 pound bag roughly half of that. So what I like to do is get the water in the bucket, um, add in about half of my dry material, give that a quick spin and then add the rest of my material in um, mix that for about a minute or two uh, just to make sure it's lump free and uniform. Obviously with any little extra water that you have with your available material, um, you can lightly top that off and just get it perfect. All right, so we mixed our product for about two minutes and now we've let it sit for a couple more minutes. So at this point now, the material is kind of fully activated and we're ready to just give it a quick spin. And this is a good time to come in and actually scrape down any material that got up on the edges and would dry. 
might come out on the slab and create a little bit of problem for you. So. So now the consistency is much like a really thick paint. And so we are ready to go. So just prior to putting down your base coat of Sherbro, you want to lightly dampen the surface of the concrete. From that point, you're going to pour a small amount of the material out onto the slab and begin to spread it evenly over the surface with your magic trowel. The key to this is to get a nice, even, consistent coat down as quickly as you can. At all costs, try to avoid getting too much material into any of the joints or pulling it over the edge of the slab. Although this is uh, typically what can happen, just make sure that you're not pouring out too much material at one time, which will make harder work of the process. So as you can see here, I'm pulling one final stroke over the surface and any leftover material, I'll just pull over to the edge of my next slab, which I'll scrape off. From that point, after I've cleaned that surface off, I lightly dampen the surface and apply more material. And I'm just going kind of slab by slab um, taking my time to make sure that um, I don't get ahead of myself and put too much material down on the slab at once, which again can make for a lot of extra work and cause the material to dry out if you're working in uh, dry, sunny, and windy conditions as I am here. So now I'm at the point where I'm just about done, get the last bit of my surface coated, and we're ready for our base coat. All right, so our base coat is dry and looking pretty good. We just have a few little rough spots here which is pretty common when you're putting your base coat down that we are going to smooth out before we put on our finished coat, which will be a broom texture. So you can use a scraper or I've got this rubbing brick. Um, basically, you're just going to go along and just rub out any little imperfections that you see. Don't have to be too fussy about this, but you want to make sure that anything that's kind of standing proud of the surface, you just rub it out real quick. I'm gonna go ahead and finish this and then we are gonna mix up our final coat. So I've mixed up the material for our final coat, uh, same process as the base coat. And again, I've lightly dampened the surface of now the base coat of the Sherb Room so I can apply my finish coat. So for this step, you're gonna use your finishing broom on a handle. And what I like to do is work the uh, material perpendicular to the finished broom orientation that I plan to do to really work it into the surface. From that point, it's just a matter of getting one nice, even stroke of the broom over the surface. Um, sometimes this can be a little bit challenging, so you're gonna have to uh, find your technique and just make sure that you're happy with the texture of the broom finish that you're putting down. In some cases, you have time to go over it uh, more than once. And uh, if you have that time, that's great. As you can see here, I'm running into just a little bit of a dry spot where it's a bit of a challenge to get the material down the way I want it but just be persistent and keep working the surface. Make sure you get rid of any extra material off your broom just prior to uh, pulling that nice finished stroke. Um, that'll give you a much cleaner looking broom. So here I'm just working out an edge and I will give it one more pull. And as you can see here, now we're getting a nice consistent finish. So we went over the whole slab and you can see now that we've got the two coats down and the entire surface has been coated and is in the process of drying. And I also made sure that I cleaned out all of the control joints so there wasn't extra material stuck in those, which would be unattractive and would not hold up over time. For the final step of this project, we're going to apply the water-based Bright Seal Sealer over the surface of the shoe broom. We're gonna put down one even coat. We're gonna roll and back roll in two different directions to take out all of our roller lines to make sure we have a nice consistent finish. This will darken the surface of the sherb room initially and then uh, gradually lighten out over time. So you can see I'm getting a nice even coat on and also making sure I get it down into the control joints. And when you reflect back here and look at the before picture of the surface and the after, you see that we've created basically a brand new concrete surface with sherb room.